gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, freaks and geeks, trolls and turps alike. Welcome, welcome all. I am Mullet Mike. As you can see right now, I am at SGC! Woo! Bringing you an all new Creepy Gaming. I'll be returning to the Creepy Gaming room next time, so we'll see you then. Got a really special episode for you today. You're not going to want to miss out. Without any further ado, let's just cut right into it. Cut right into it. Let's just, just cut. Just get right in the meat and potatoes of it. Turn the lights down and the volume up as we journey on this creepy Being at SGC this year definitely revitalized my love for retro games. That being said, I have recently been revisiting games from the Mario series, but not Super Mario World or Mario Brothers 3. No, 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 no. Been there, done that. I'm sure we've all played those games hundreds of times. I wanted to play a more obscure Mario game. And trust me when I say you don't get much more obscure than Hotel Mario. As I'm sure some of you may know, back in the early 90s, Nintendo was working on a deal with Sony to produce a CD-based gaming console. Pfft, you mean a console that plays CDs instead of cartridges? Ha! It'll never work! Ultimately, the deal with Sony fell through, causing Nintendo to team up with Philips to create the Philips CDI. It's okay though, because we all know how that worked out for Sony. As part of the deal, Nintendo licensed their characters out to Philips to use, thus resulting in what I like to refer to as the Bastard Zelda games, as well as Hotel Mario. The game was released in 1994 and was more of a puzzle game rather than the side-scrolling classics that we expected from the series. Apparently, Bowser attempts to once again take over the Mushroom Kingdom. He's got a foolproof plan this time, guys. Get this. Get this. Do you know what he's going to do to stop the Mario Brothers this time? Huh? Do you know what he's going to do to stop them? Get this. Get this. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Hotels. That's right. Hotels. Bowser, you evil genius, you. Yeah, I can't imagine why this game never took off. Hotel Mario is known for these infamous cutscenes of a poorly animated Mario, Luigi, Princess, and Bowser. Not just that, but take a listen to Mario's voice work. If you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. I need a drink. In all fairness, this was at least a year before Chris Martinet was brought on to voice Mario. He has been providing Mario's voice ever since. This voice just makes me feel sad inside. Nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic. Well, believe it or not, guys, it gets creepier. Over a decade after the game's release, a story sprung up online along with a correlating video. No one expected to witness such a grotesque, grisly scene from a Mario game. According to this creepypasta, an individual was going through the game's source code when they discovered a secret level entitled the 13th Hotel. When playing it on an emulator, a disturbing cutscene surfaced. I am about to play for you that very same cutscene. Be warned, this video contains some disturbing content and is intended for mature audiences. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay, just prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves, you're, you're gonna need to for this clip. Gotta get all loose goosey, gotta get all loose goosey, gotta get all loose goosey.
This particular video surfaced on the internet a few years ago. Now whether or not it is the actual video or just a recreation is debatable. The video appears to be edited. I mean, come on, you can see Mario's eyelashes. And, and I'm sorry, is that Giga static? Either way, through all of my nitpicking, Mario the 13th Hotel makes for some good creepy gaming. Believe it or not, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, I really kind of enjoy this creepypasta. It's short, sweet, and to the point. The video contains some disturbing imagery as well as some really scary sound design. It doesn't go too far off the deep end. It feels like something that could actually happen. The gore and demonic voices definitely add to the story. The subliminal messages such as help me leaves the viewer feeling disturbed and uneasy. Combine all this with the family friendly Mario and you have yourself a nice slice of ruined childhood. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, I doubt it. I'm not here to debate that. It's a great form of entertainment and because of that, Hotel Mario the 13th Hotel will forever go down in creepy gaming history. So there you have it, folks. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. I am Mullet Mike with a pal in full screen saying keep stay creepy. Thanks for watching. Peace.